To the average person, the art of jigsaw may seem boring, uninteresting, trivial, or not even an art at all. Can we build a puzzle faster than one puzzle expert? What's taking you guys so long? I don't know. But the fact of the matter is that human beings have been invested in puzzles and brain games for millennia. Here are a few examples, but we are merely scratching the surface at the wide history of tricks and games. The Chinese Puzzle Water Vessel, originating from around 1000 BC to 980. The Localis of Archimedes, probably originating around 395 AD. The Baganadir, originating in the 16th century. And the Tower of Hanoi, originating in 1883. However, the first recorded instance of a jigsaw puzzle goes back to the 1760s when European map makers put maps on wood and cut them into small pieces. One of such was John Spilsbury, an engraver and map maker, who dissected a jigsaw puzzle and used it as an educational toy for his students, asking them to put the map back together. In the beginning of the 1900s, puzzles for adults began emerging, and soon a craze had hit the United States. However, back then, puzzles were made of wood, and each piece had to be cut one at a time, so jigsaw puzzles back then were pretty expensive. In the next few years, especially in the onset of the Great Depression, many skilled architects, carpenters, and craftsmen began to cut jigsaw puzzles from their home workshops to sell locally. The jigsaw puzzle gets its name from the type of saw originally used to cut the wood pieces. After the Great Depression saw the emergence of mass production, in which jigsaw puzzles could be die cut from cardboard. Over the decades, jigsaw puzzles have become increasingly popular for people of all ages to play. And that's how we get to where we are today. Some say that jigsaw puzzling requires an embrace of monotony. Getting a meatball? Let's talk about that. I, for one, would like to disagree with that statement. For it is the variety and the diversity of all the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle coming together that makes it beautiful. Life in many ways is like a jigsaw puzzle. We establish the basic foundation first but it is very difficult to complete without help and guidance. And sometimes life feels as fragile as if the entire thing can come crashing down at any moment. Even the mental benefits alone to jigsaw puzzling can be called anything but monotonous, such as exercising the left and right side of your brains at the same time, improving short-term memory, maybe even fighting Alzheimer's, and is used as wonderful meditation and stress relief. Hi, my name is Anna Fiore. I am so glad that you want to become a jigsaw puzzler like me. Now the greatest part about jigsaw puzzles is that there are no rules, but there are a few tips and tricks that I can give you in order to complete your jigsaw puzzle in the most efficient amount of time. That way, you just have time for more. This puzzle right here is a piece I completed relatively recently. This painting right here seems to be an old town scene, full of all the local townspeople flocking to the town dance. But how do we construct this masterpiece and put it all together? The first rudimentary rule to most jigsaw puzzlers is to dump out your entire bag and then sort your pieces, placing the edge pieces in one pile and sorting the rest of the pieces, putting them away for later. For me, the first step in my puzzle journey is completing the edges. That way, you have the canvas for the masterpiece you are about to put together. It's always wonderful when you see these corner pieces. These little buggers are wonderful, and that way, you know the constraints in which your frame will be held. Now that you have your frame assembled, time to work on the inner meat. As you can see, some of the pieces got jostled around a bit in there, so you're gonna wanna spread them out and make sure to flip each and every single one over so you can see the colors. This will lead to the next most important step. 
Some may find it helpful to sort pieces by colors into certain piles, or separate, whatever you think is easiest. And always refer to the guide since that will help you find the colors easiest. Some colors may look similar, but a lot of them can actually be pretty different. Believe it or not, one of the best tactics used by almost all jigsaw puzzlers is process of elimination. As you can see, I have many pieces here of the relatively same color family, but how do I know which one or each one goes? As you can see, this piece right here needs to have an opening end and a pinhead top right next to each other. So, since this piece doesn't have that, we can easily eliminate it. This piece does have that, and it fits right in. And then that gets us even more information we need for our next piece. This one needs three pegs on each side. This one is perfect. Let's see if it works. Nope, that one doesn't seem to fit, but we have a few more that have three edges. Let's try this one. Nope, that one didn't work either. This one has three edges as well, and it fits in perfectly. You might need to rotate it a couple times in order to make sure you have the right piece in the right place, but it's all just a game of figuring it out. And once you get into a good puzzling rhythm, you're almost unstoppable. Thank you for... Thank you for joining me here as we explore the wide world of jigsaw puzzles together. I hope you learned something new and maybe you can pick up a new hobby. And remember, jigsaw puzzles are a lot like life. Don't get frustrated when some of the pieces don't fit in together. Just know that in the end, they will all come together to form a masterpiece. So be patient and see what masterpiece is in store for you.